Hey guys, I'm here again with some Twitter questions that were put to me. So um, I'll read it out from Mr. Tharp or Tharpe. I would say, I guess it's Tharp. Anyway, I'm trying to find a good routine to cope throughout the day, such as coffee first, then either morning exercise or wait for exercise in the middle of the day and cold first, etc. What is your routine or suggestion for a good routine throughout your day to code efficiently? Well, for, for me, it just depends on what my schedule is for that day. First of all, I'm not a, an active day-to-day -day coder. I manage my, my developers. I just don't have time to code. But, you know, I typically get up in the morning very early. It's just my habit now, maybe because I'm a geezer. And when you get to be 800 years old, you tend to get up earlier. And so I get up sometimes 5 in the morning, sometimes 6 in the morning. And sometimes I'll take a drive to get a coffee just to clear my mind. I enjoy driving over the mountain, in, especially in the spring, summer, fall, where there's trees and summer. I got the convertible down just to clear my mind. I go get a coffee and relax. And I come back here and then I start taking care of my detail work, which would, equi which would be the equivalent of coding. For me, that's answering emails, uh, checking uh, the Slack, see what's going on, see how the development is going. Uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, a whole bunch of different things. But the detailed work, what I typically do, so I get up in the morning, I go for a drive to relax, get a coffee, come back, I do my detail work, and I work until uh, maybe around noon. If I have uh, a lunch date, I'll go out to lunch, meet some friends or whoever, sometimes business-oriented. And then I typically train personally, around two in the afternoon and i do that to avoid the crowds and to avoid the uh traffic the five o'clock six o'clock traffic but that's just that's just me um, i know some people who are uh, highly productive they get up very early in the morning to go to the gym they train early then they come back work the rest of the day i like to break up my day give my mind a rest as well so maybe as a coder, maybe you could get up in the morning, code for a couple hours, then go to the gym, work out, go to lunch, and then uh, come back, fresh mind, fresh body, you know, and then uh, code for the rest of the day. I kind of like breaking up any um, mentally straining or mentally focused type of work. Coding, of course, falls into that. I like to break that up into chunks because we know from psychology that there's, there are periods of peak productivity. I've talked about this in other videos. And depending on the individual, it comes down, you get, depending on the individual, your, pre, your peak productivity in terms of mental uh, efficiency is three to four hours. So it's good to give your brain a rest. If you know, I'm, I'm, There's a lot of coders out there who code eight hours a day, nine hours a day. But the data shows that efficiency drops after three to four hours. Your quality of your output just because the brain needs a rest. It's like working out. You work out the weights or you do five, six rounds or boxing or seven rounds or, you know, it's either, it's either three to five or uh, you know, 10, 12. After you do your boxing, you need a rest. Or after you do your sets, your three sets of bench press, you need to, or you need to rest after that. You got to give your muscles a rest. When you do two three, four, two, three hours of intense coding, intense programming, it, you need to give your brain a rest. Not all the time, but some of the time. So I, I personally break it up. Feel your way through it. You may change depending on your, um, you may change depending on what you have to do. But whatever you do, don't burn yourself out. That's my recommendation. recommendation. I did that in my 20s when I was a workaholic and I wasn't coding in my, my late teens, early 20s. I was doing a little bit, but the coding was a sideline to my main business. But I became a workaholic in uh, my teens, late teens, 19 to, through 24, 25. And it's like I just, you, you're just in a constant state of, state of burnout if you don't give yourself rest periods. So give yourself rest periods because at the end of uh, the day, 10 years later of uh, being a workaholic, um, you may have made a lot of money but and accomplished a lot, but you're going to feel a, a, a void because you've, you've been so myopic in your focus that you haven't done all these other things, you know.
So I suggest breaking things up a little bit like that. Anyway, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.